welcome back to the channel guys just got 6 a.m. in the morning Waikato River is looking pretty foggy down there it's actually one of the colder mornings we've had in a while Ooh, look at that fog got a feeling it's going to be a slow trip down the river check out the sunrise how beautiful is that Pretty nice morning. Just shooting down the river for a lazy fish. Hopefully you get into some trevs. Been a bit of a dry spell for me. But yeah, it's just gone 6.30. The sun's coming up, so I better get, get into action and get down there. What a sunrise. Definitely no better time to be on the water than when the sun's coming up. Check that out. Sunrise. Should be a wicked morning down here, I think. When I'm going on these quick fishing missions, I don't really even mind if I don't catch a fish, to be honest. It's just nice to be out on the water, especially when the um, weather's good as well. This is also my favourite time to put up a um, pretty Facebook picture as well. So everyone that's going to work can see it and get jealous. Holy, that sun is cranking! Might be another um, sunscreen day by the looks of it. And hopefully those aren't rain clouds either. Let's get to it. Just using the trusty old soft bait, same one as last time. I didn't actually have any luck on, but that's the one that always works. So it's just a matter of trying it, I think. All right, so I've got my other rod rigged up with quite a bright soft bait. It's actually got. UV glow in it this one so the water's really murky today so hopefully this helps Well, I didn't get it on film, but this is what happened. <laughs> the $30 AliExpress rod gave up. I actually got it snagged and the current took the lure straight under the ski and I and I just wasn't ready for it. And it um, loaded it up too much and snapped it off. Not much I can do about it. Just is what it is. Just lucky it didn't cost me much. <laughs> I might have to move up to a heavier jig head because I'm having trouble staying in touch with the lure. It's because of the wind and the drift speed. Don't know if you can see it or not, but there's four people in the water down there. I think they're just dragging a um, net. It might be a mullet net. But man, they must be cold. It's not a warm day today. 
It's not easy today guys. Just coming up to high tide now and we haven't got a fish yet. It's actually quite windy down here, which is a bit of a surprise. So just to change it up a bit, we've gone back to the orange glow or the Gurnard Glow soft bait. Just in the hopes of it's a bit more visible in the water. We'll see what happens. the snag not gonna break another rod for the sake of a soft bait and it's broken what else we have in the bin You can see why I like to remove the um, little assist hook down here because I get snagged enough as it is and um, having the little assist hook just makes the problem that much worse unfortunately. Fish guys, not sure what it is yet. Oh, what are you? You're right there. It's a trev. <laughs> Forgotten what they look like. It's quite a good one, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's been so long, Mr. Trevelli. Not a bad fish at all. First Trevelli of the day. Oh. Didn't even get a look at him. Right guys, it's gone. Been pretty quiet for a few hours now after we had those two fish. Just trying some slightly different spots. Probably just stay back where I caught the fish, but 
wasn't really happening there so I've changed spots just drifting around trying to find the fish again we are back in the spot that we caught the only fish today that guy's running along the beach I wonder if his rod's going off Well, I don't know what it is guys, but the Trevally just seem to not want to play ball in winter time. I don't know whether it's because um, this time of year is actually when the white bait are running. So maybe they're going for a lure that's a lot smaller. Which may be worth a try next time. Um, I don't know what I'd use, maybe some sort of micro jig. And a white colour maybe. And um, yeah, but... They're obviously there because I caught, well, hooked two today. Caught one of them and lost the other one. But um, yeah, there's got to be a better way of catching them because I don't normally have slow days like this. And, but it's always been summer that I've been catching them. So uh, yeah, quite often with a uh, specialised fishery like this, you got to figure out all the ins and outs of seasons and tides and all that sort of thing and um, that can all influence whether the fishing is good or not but yeah you never know these things unless you try so it's just a learning curve and putting the time into figuring out what works yeah it can be days like these when you actually learn a lot more than the days that you catch fish so yeah we'll um, head back to the ramp now Let's get back on the trailer. What have we got over here? Some sort of big bush in the water. Ski's all packed away. Let's go turn that fish into lunch. So we're gonna make a Trevelli wrap. We've got wraps, got the Trevelli, got basil pesto dip, avocado, spinach, cheese, and Japanese mayonnaise for the sauce. There we have it, fresh fish wraps. So easy and tastes so good.